Hey guys, we are on we are on another project. This time, gonna try to sort out the sawdust issue. So the sawdust I have is it's not fine. It's not like from us circular saw or anything like that. This is actually this is a um, wood chips more like. I think this would be even better for the brick making process. Uh, here I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and something, ten la ten bags. I have about twenty more at another location. So uh, let's try to turn this into usable firewood. I mean I have a few ideas. Didn't really bother to watch a bunch of YouTube videos. I suppose let's just kinda trial and error this. As we do always. Just try something, doesn't work. Try the next thing. Damn. I got a personal ice skating ring. Yeah, the foundation is leaking on that spot. Or it's just overflowing. I'm not really sure which is which. But man, that's not the ordeal for this video. Anyway, I wanna try to utilize this thing. Utilize it into making those um, sawdust firewood. I figured I don't really need to do a lot of redesigning here. <sighs> I just need a I just need a mold, and I need to replace that splitting head with something which will press the mold down. I mean, up here it seems like a pretty fair game. Should be quite an easy project. So let's uh, let's try to turn uh, let's try to turn this thing into a wood press briquette maker. So let's start off with the mold. Let's make the mold first. So I think I need some uh, steel blade for the mold. Need some type of a pipe setup. Actually, I could go do ways with this. Could use some type of a pipe or a retang rectangular pipe. Tubing. Personally, I think this would work better because I could make it like open on all four sides. It's kind of hard to do it with a pipe, I suppose. I don't have any bigger pieces of this right now. So let's go with the pipe. Maybe I can find a bigger pipe. Dude, I think this is too big. Maybe G channel instead. Would that work? I'm kind of afraid uh, it would get stuck here. Hard to extract the thing. But maybe it will work. Uh, whatever. Let's try with the G channel first. If it fails, let's go with the super pipe there. If that fails, gonna go buy some box tubing. Need to lock the deal together, but I need to make sure that I can open it up as well. Some, something like this. Best tool in the universe, right there.
Man, never mind. This is the best tool in the universe. Effortless hole drilling. This thing is more like a containment vessel for like nuclear fuel or something. But I'm hoping to use it to make uh, some firewood. Just in case, I'm not gonna weld the other side. I'm not really sure yet, maybe I need to make at least one more side openable. Like, uh, for example, only leave the L shape as a solid piece, but make this openable with the hinge and that openable with the hinge. Right now, I'm not really 100% sure, but I think the brick, it might just get stuck here even if I open this away it still might get stuck between these two edges because we'll see later how true that is so let's make the pressing part need some type of a pressing blade which will push down down there Great, I still am unable to do math, apparently. Man, I think, I think I need to make something similar to this, but without the sides. Couple of G channels on both sides and a plate down there. Well, some rod, pipe or tubing and then uh, this thing. Yeah, you do that thing, I'm freezing me. Looks like some type of uh, alien probing device. Wow, 
quite a long face, man. So sad. I've heard that this stuff burns really well. Kinda curious to try out. That's boring. That's really boring. No detonation. I'm sorry guys, I just had to do it. There was this voice in my head, constantly just saying, do it now, I just couldn't say no. I don't get it man. I specifically melted the outside first. So the cheat channels would pull apart from each other. But they went inwards instead. What? Maybe the plate? Oh. Looks like the plate has warped instead. Yeah. The bottom plate warped instead. That's why they are pointing inwards. Point seven. That's pretty good. Not tight and not loose. Just, just the way the doctor ordered.
bolts are the wrong way. 50-50 chance and I still get it wrong. This is so unfair. But let's, let's get some sawdust. I don't have any newspaper, but they do have cardboard. Let's mix the dew up with some water uh, and test this, whatever this is. And this is a lot better than that stupid steel plate. Man, I'm tired of mixing. This was the most amount of work I've had in a week. Add all that water just to press it out. That makes a lot of sense. For some reason I'm not hungry anymore. the hell, man? I was pretty sure it's gonna, just gonna fall apart any, any second, but... Seems pretty strong, to be honest. Just uh, extracting it from this section might be a headache. That's why I was thinking maybe I should add a couple of hinges on this side. Well, definitely need to add those inches. This is not going to work without them. What a little blob. I think it would have actually made it if I didn't try to hammer it out. I'm gonna try to find something in the center as well. <laughs> what the hell is that? <laughs> oh my... Oh my gow! Oh my holy gow! Frankenstein. 
I'm thinking a couple of hinges here as well. Could just uh, open it up and take the piece of cake out. Is that correct? I wouldn't know. Let's try. Things like glued here or something, I don't get it. Maybe it's a bit too big. But I'm gonna let it dry for a couple of days. See how it is. Check out my sausage, guys. I think it's a bit too soft. It needs to be harder. I think there's like a couple of problems here. First of all, broken screws they're not a very good binder I assume second of all the thing is too big it's huge it's very likely that I'm not even able to fit this thing in any fire stoves maybe only in small pieces so I don't think my first attempt will work so I did a bit of research how this thing usually is done basically like two ways you either use a binder some type of a binding agent, or you don't. Now, if you don't use a binder, essentially you need to do two things. First, you need to press the sawdust at a very high pressure. I could properly achieve that if I made the form considerably smaller. 140 times 140, that is, that requires too much tonnage, man. And the second thing you need to do is uh, heat it while you press it. So those two actions will like release the natural binding agent from the wood and it will make the sausage strong. Or the second option without the heating would be that you use some type of a binding agent. Now, apparently according to Google, there are a lot of different binding agents uh, available, but it all kind of comes down to cost in the end, if, uh, if it's worth it. If you just Google, you could find a lot of different binding materials. But off the top of my head, two that kind of got my eye was clay or um, strash. I could probably add either of those to the mix to see if it will help. But uh, before we do that, I think I'm going to redesign this setup a bit. Probably like um, rebuild the entire thing. Except uh, this part, this this should be good. But before I get rid of this bit, 
I want to try maximum pressure. See if that does anything. I'm thinking like three things could happen. Either the thing will work, which would be great. The mold will break, which would be even greater. Or something else will break. That would be the, like the icing on the cake type of deal. Man. Kind of afraid. Just keep going. I couldn't max it out, something gave away. Yeah, the bottom just the bottom just decided to resign. Sorry guys. No dramatic explosion this time. Man, what a mess! Let's just throw this thing away. Blank slate, guys. So my new design. Still thinking box should be better. But instead of hinges, gonna leave it as a solid piece. That way I am unable to push it so the inside of this thing is um, like seven and a half. I think that would be a perfect size. Definitely better than 15. But because I'm not planning to have any hinges to open up the phone work, my only option to get the brick out of there is to press it out. That means I can't use that piece down there and I need to build a new bottom blade for it. More work. Yes. And I'm also thinking maybe I'm gonna add like a side hatch or something. Add material from the side instead from the top. That way I could keep this formwork in one place. Add material, press. Once I have fully pressed it down, remove some type of uh, bottom plate down there and then press the thing all the way down to remove it from the gauge. So that's my current idea. Let's go with that. About somewhere here. What do you do in the house?
think I can use these two pieces uh, as the bottom support. Bunch of that and hopefully it will be hard and not just kind of explode. Concept seems pretty simple. Then again, my last idea seemed pretty simple as well. Didn't work. Wow, very important that. Man, I just welded everything, both sides. Starship launch pad. Guess the placement is correct. Should should do fine. Gotta replace this though. This will not work. Just gotta make it fit into this tubing and swap this tubing out with a smaller tubing if I have some. Apparently I do. A little bit of play should be good. Don't, don't want to make it too tight. That thing getting stuck is the last thing I need.
You know, I think I have a problem. Maybe I don't have a drain hole. Oh, never mind. Uh, plenty of gaps down here. Now, one thing that I'm thinking about, maybe... Maybe it's not gonna be very easy to pull that... Uh, plate... Plate out of there. Honestly, not looking good, this. Dude, that doesn't move at all. It's like welded. doesn't stay intact at all, it just collapses. This is not looking great guys. Drill a bunch of holes there to let the water out and see if that does anything. bit better uh, I would say it's a bit better but still man not even close to what I want I'm not sure this is gonna work out this setup I mean but actually there is this one thing that I could try like a mild upgrade to this thing just gonna ditch this plate and make the exit pipe a bit longer while making the end slightly wider This might have some potential, for like, for example, this piece. This is this is something that I can just throw into the fireplace, and uh, this piece seems pretty solid. So I tried with the wet crap first. That uh, just collapsed immediately, but uh, the dry the dry stuff seems to work better with this setup. Not sure why. Even if they're like this, I can still use them. I'm betting these will burn very well, they are dry. Too much work for this, but it's burning very well. And after just 30 minutes, it's all gone, wow. Hi. I was totally ready to lose hope, but now I have hope that um, I haven't wasted like an hour of your dime. That's the hope I mean. So wet stuff didn't work, but dry stuff did. Gonna try to make it better now. Mm, obviously need to add some type of intake to it. Thank <laughs> you. 
the hopper works pretty well. It's a lot faster reloading the device. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna get like a um, buttload of uh, sawdust. See how long it will take me, and what will we get? Dude, check this weather out. Wow. The end of the winter type of weather. You can't really look at this weather very long. You might get eye cancer or something. This is horrible. Wetness, madness, slipperiness. Always hugging the ground for some reason. Absolutely hate it. Hopefully it will not last long. Well, let's go through this pile. See if we get anything useful from it. And uh, then uh, dig like a nice hole to bury this project in. Because it seems pretty pointless. Can, can't, uh, can't wait for the digging part. Basically, guys, let's draw some conclusions, shall we? I'm gonna let that thing nicely warm up. I don't have a boat, so we need to dig a hole. Basically, like um, everything I made in that time lapse, I did burn them up. But I would say like 50 or maybe 60%. It was complete chunk. It's not worth it. After a while, the blocks would just kind of expand and 
fall apart. Maybe if you like uh, press it and then immediately throw it into the fire stove. Still though, I decided to finish off the project. Maybe I will find some other use for it. Who knows? Unlikely, but... Gotta try this again sometime. Personally, I think the problem is that the pipe is too short and it's too wide. It needs to be narrower and considerably longer. Then, then it should work. Could try it with this splitter though. Got plenty of space on this side. Basically just uh, remove the wedge, weld a long pipe here, some type of uh, extension on this side. And you could pretty much just fully automate the thing. Just install a hopper, sawdust would go down and the piston would just kind of continuously work. And from the end of the pipe, you would get these small blocks. So I might revisit this topic and try to utilize that splitter for uh, said reason. But uh, I don't really wanna, you know, I do have, I have a lot of offcuts from my sawmill and some of the offcuts, they're like, they're like super wide, but not very thick. It's a lot easier to split those offcuts with this boy. They probably wouldn't stay upright on the vertical lock splitter, but if I remove the wedge, then uh, I wouldn't be able to use this as a lock splitter anymore. So, not really sure. You can't really think of anything else. I could go a bit smaller on the pipe size. That would probably help. But honestly, I'm just kind of fed up with this project right now. Don't even want to see sawdust anymore. It's kind of, kind of all over the place, man. Freaking mud. Maybe I can use it for something else. To to crush some stuff. Gonna make my own hydraulic press channel. What what we can draw in there, so we could crush them. What do you think, guys? But um, yeah, I'm just gonna gonna end this uh, pointless video now. Hopefully, you're not too mad. Oh, by the way, before I wrap this uh, nightmare up, I'm gonna, gonna try some things. Maximum minute, guys. Promise. So out of curiosity, I mixed the sawdust up with some, um, some other stuff. I'm gonna test it out. I don't think it will really matter, but I'm just curious. You gotta satisfy my curiosity. So... This one is mixed with clay and water. That one there is uh, ash and water. That's my favorite. Some um, sawdust and the waste oil. Don't show this video to Greta, guys. I'm not planning to die. And that one there is just um, cardboard mud. So place your bets. What is gonna happen? I'm, um, I'm, I think nothing. It's, it's gonna be crap, but let's try. Clay, nothing. Try ash next. Let's try the oil next. Greta, look away. Man, I think this will burn like uh, fireworks. But it doesn't stay together, man. Nicely oiled up the machine, though. Cardboard mod left. You guys have any idea how long it took me to get like half, half a bucket of cardboard? Trust me, man. You don't even want to know. in my mouth bro <laughs> don't recommend it doesn't taste great that's it guys last pieces of cardboard 16 cardboard boxes in that tube right now that's some serious recycling man
Look great. Now this is probably gonna stick together once it dries up. Could could probably manage cardboard waste with this device. But still so far the um, dry stuff dry stuff seems um, to work best. But But it doesn't stay like this um, for a while. It kind of just slowly falls apart. You know, I'm kind of super curious how well this oil sandwich will burn. Look at that, that guy is still here. How nice of him. Take note, man. That's how you're supposed to burn. Should uh, should add more of them here. Would make this no go away. Boy, I'm an expert at making a mess. Hmm. Smells like barbecue. 